Hello, welcome to Mecker's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss TTRU3 simulation mode and remote control. Let's get started. When you first launch the software in your computer, it will try to connect to an instrument and once it determines that no instrument is connected to your computer it will offer you to enable simulation mode so that's the mode I'm gonna use for this video so I click accept on the prompt and you see on the upper right corner simulation mode is now enabled so in the home screen you see the main buttons that you get are quick test magnetic balance and new test plan obviously to access each one of those sections the details on those will be covered in different videos on the right you get settings results and about so let's start by the easiest one let's go to about you'll see the software version you're running you can check for updates if you were connected to a unit you can export the logs and you can also get detailed information right not only the software version but also the hardware version as well as the serial number of the unit you are connected to also on the right you see uh, an overview of what options of the software are enabled according to the ttru3 version that you got so let's go back to the home screen I'm going to go directly into settings. I'm going to skip results. I want to show you that at the end after I run a quick test. Let's go into settings. First option you get is measurements and limits. So let's go and check what options I, I get on this section. First is line frequency. Right? I'll leave that in 60 hertz. You can enable or disable the test buzzer as well. And you can set limits for imbalance, ratio error. And phase deviation you can also select red ratio display quantity as TNR transformer nameplate ratio or the classic TTR you can also change the settings for the phase display I'm gonna leave that in minutes and the last two settings are pertaining to the auto mode when testing OLTC error limited OLTC will enable or disable the detection of the error on the tabs and auto continue will tell the software if an error and outside the limits the result is found you want the auto test to continue with the rest of the tabs or you want the test to stop so the user can check what was wrong with that tab so when i leave that up off and i i will accept these changes next is transformer nameplate there are a couple different ways to access this section first is through the settings like i did right now and the second is when you are creating a test plan the nameplate option or the nameplate section of the software is for you to input the pertaining information to the ttr test as you can see i can define the vector configuration of my transformer i'm going to select a typical dyn1 so the software will, will guide me through the possible options and then I can tell the software how many tabs I have on each side and what type of tab changer I have. So I'm going to configure it as, as DTC, 5 tabs on the primary, OLTC, 33 tabs on the secondary. The tab labels are for you to select between different options so the report will match exactly the labels as you have them in your nameplate certain uh, transformers especially on OLTCs the tab voltages are rounded up by request uh, by, by the transformer owner and those voltages once again are rounded up to 1, 5 or 10 volts so since the software will auto calculate all the tabs in your tab changer table you can use the setting to adjust the rounding up so 
once again the calculations will match your nameplate so it's good practice to double check once the full table is built that every tab matches your nameplate exactly otherwise your calculators calculated TTR will be off and thus increasing the, the percentage error you can also change the standard to match the labels of the vectors enable or disable the tab phase shift and also to tell the table how many positions from the OLTC are considered or configured as the nominal voltage and you can also turn on or off the relative phase shift so I'll go ahead and accept this going into the regional section you can change the number and date formats as well as to change the date and time for your system right to match your local configuration you can also change the language as you can see many different options available you're gonna leave that in English for this video I'm gonna accept the changes here and then now let's go on to OLTC control couple options here first manual as you can see when I go into manual mode no more options are shown and this is because in this mode well the control of the OLTC is left completely to the user using the the remote in the top panel of the instrument when I select auto mode I have two settings to change the pulse and the wait times just clicking it I'm gonna change it to two seconds for example wait I'll leave it at five and then you can verify that those settings are good for your tab changer just press either of the two buttons up or down so once again you can verify that the pulse right the time that the unit will send the pulse to change position and how long it will wait for the tab change to be completed if you're going to tap timing this is another way to set those two times this is a little bit of automation so you can tell or, or teach the unit those uh, times the way this works is obviously you will have to connect first for, uh, the, to the tap changer control from the TTRU3 using the provided cable once you have the connections performed press and hold either of the two buttons from the switch keep it pressing until your the tap changer starts the the change of position once you release the button the software will learn the pulse time once the tap transition is completed you need to click this button on the right tap transition complete so the software learns the time it takes for that tap changer under test to go from one position to the next once that is done you will have the results shown here and back here as well so I'll go out of this section display right now I'm running simulation in a computer so the display section is it doesn't apply here this will only be enabled when you're looking at the software in the unit itself and this display section is for you to recalibrate the touch panel of the display once you do so you will get detailed instructions and where to tap you have to do a couple drags in the touch screen to recalibrate the touch panel going into the last section administrative options for those settings that are not often changed I type the password here which is 2621 per the user manual once again since I'm running the software from my PC USB thumb drive is off and you connect the TTRU3 to a computer it will also mount as a USB drive that contains a manual the latest software that you can install in a PC in case you are connecting to a PC that has no that has no software install so you can install it from there if for security reasons you want that disabled you can do so here and you can also restore the factory settings 
as well as to change the export folder for the software so I'm gonna accept here to go back and then let's go back to the home screen and once again quick test and new test plan will be detailed in a couple other different videos so I will leave uh, those details for, for later but I want to really really quick run a measurement so I can show you the results as you see we, as we define from the nameplate we have a DYN1 vector selected and our top voltages are 230,000 for the primary and 13,800 for the secondary so I'm going to leave those modes as well as the test mode as auto and I'm going to do a quick test the software will automatically give me a, a consecutive test ID if I want to accept that just click the green arrow so we will run the test in real life conditions this will take about 8 to 10 seconds for a three phase transformer and I get my result screens right away as you can see I can I have an overview of the configuration right to make sure I didn't make a mistake what was the voltage for the test the test mode and the ratio display you can change it directly from here as well get my three phases results including excitation current phase deviation and percentage error right it will give me the limits right below the heading header of the table as well as the results per phase from this screen i can quickly retest right maybe i did a mistake with the connection so i correct them and once again quickly retest from here I can save the results so I can then go to the home screen results check the last one I did which is this one and once again retest if I need it delete this record and also export it if I do so since I am running a software from my computer uh, an Excel a CVS uh, file will be created and the software will indicate the file path once I do so. So that covers both simulation and remote control. Once again, quick test and new test plans will be covered in separate videos. This concludes TTRU3 simulation mode and remote control. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing.